Hey everyone, I'm working on this RDG gouging machine, oval gouging machine, and I wanted to show you how I go about positioning the, a new blade in one of these machines. Um, the blade is fairly simple to install. You just undo this set screw and put the uh, set screw through the new blade slot and screw it in there. But What's challenging about these machines for me is the way this the adjustment screws work. So this is your depth adjustment screw. So if you tighten this screw, you are pushing the blade downward. If you loosen the screw, you are retracting the blade. But the problem is, and this blade is, is tightened down right now, the problem is there is play, considerable play in this uh, drive screw and in the lateral adjustment screw right there. And the, this is not moving the blade right now because the blade is tightened down with the set screw. But you can see how much play there is um, in the way that the screw interacts with the blade. Um, these screws have a little collar on them. It's kind of hard to show. They have a little collar on them right there and that interacts with a small slot in the blade. Same thing with the um, lateral adjustment screw here. Um, so the play is what we really need to work around. And before I did anything, or before I ever do anything to a gouger, the first thing you wanna do is set the thickness adjustment to be too thick so that you uh, decrease the risk of running your new blade into your cane stop. And to do that on an RGG machine, you loosen this set screw and then tighten this screw in there, which pushes this piece of brass that way. And what that does, this piece of brass is wedge shaped and that, um, stops you from being able to gouge very thin. Um, the second safety thing I should say here is once you think you have the blade in a new position, and this goes for any gouger, once you think you have the blade in a usable position and you're ready to test some cane on it, you wanna do this first. Put it down in the middle of the carriage, put the carriage down in the middle of the bed and gently run the blade back and forth to make sure you're not catching the blade on the cane stops. If you are, you'll hear a clunk, clunk, and clunk, clunk, and it won't feel nice either. This is running really smoothly. I can tell there's no blade touching brass there. So on the adjustment part, um, this blade right now is pretty well centered, but it needs to go that way a little bit. It needs to be retracted. So that means I need to take this screw and undo it. Now again, this is not moving the blade right now because the blade is set with the top set screw. So what I've found to be most useful in working with this uh, screw play is if I want to retract the blade, first I tighten the blade until it just, and I'm not using my wrist even here, I'm just using um, my fingers. Let's see if I can get that in the shot. I'm just using my fingertips just to sort of run that collar into the blade going in that, in the left hand direction. So now when I undo this, it will make room for the blade to go to the right or up and out of the machine. So I hope this is making sense. It's kind of hard to describe. The screw is now, the screw collar is now in its southernmost part of the slot. And then what I do, so okay, screw collar is leftmost, and then what I do, if you watch those little knurlings on the screw, I turn it to the left, 
just the tiniest bit until it makes some room for me to push the blade to the right. Then what I do, now that there's room there, is, get this positioned. Now that there's room there, I slightly loosen the set screw and I put my fingertip right on the sharp point of the blade and I push the blade up. I push the blade towards me, up out of the gouging machine so that it shows less um, down above the guide or down below the guide. Um, if I need to expose more blade, I do the opposite. I loosen this screw, get a better view of this. I loosen this screw. And again, this is not moving the blade right now because the set screw is holding it, but I loosen the screw until that collar runs up against the top of this. And then I can just move the screw a little bit, making room for the blade to be pushed down if I need to expose more blade. Um, this also works pretty well as a way to adjust things laterally. The only thing I'll say about um, this lateral screw here is you can tighten it tighten it and push that blade um, towards the rod as much as you want. But if you start torquing and loosening this screw a bunch, you can rip out this part of the blade steel. It will break the blade. So be careful of that. Anyways, I hope this made sense. It's kind of hard to describe. It's a very finicky process. Um, if you have questions or comments or have a better way to do this, please let me know. All right, bye.